I'm gonna show you the fastest way to unlock the newest aftermarket part in Warzone Modern Warfare Zombies. And trust me when I say that you absolutely need this. I'll show you how to get five weekly challenges done in a very, very short round of zombies. This is the Jack Cutthroat. And what does it do? Well, I'm glad you asked. It works across a ton of guns, including the MCW, MTZ, M4, and AMR9 platforms. And it turns slow assault rifles and slower guns into quick movement and quick ADS movement speed guns. Now, why is this important? In zombies, ADS and tack fire stance, I would argue is one of the most important attributes of a gun. If you can run away from the zombies while shooting accurately, you win. This takes the M16 from Modern Warfare 2, which is traditionally very slow, gives it a 9% movement speed and a 21% ADS movement speed. So your tack stance, I can literally outrun zombies. This is actually faster than the brand new SMG, the FJX Horse. This gun is faster in ADS movement speed. I've outran zombies walking backwards in tier three while in tack stance mowing them all down. Like the new M16 is amazing. I'll have a video out in a couple days just to show you how good it really is. So keep an eye out for that. Those five challenges are get five rapid kills 20 times with the recommended SMG, get 10 mangler kills with the recommended weapon, 50 hellhound kills with the recommended weapon, 150 critical kills with the recommended pistol, and 200 fire damage kills with a recommended SMG. Let's get into it. Make sure to bring in a fire mod for that SMG challenge. And then for the guns, here's what I would recommend. I would do the WSP Stinger Akimbo for your handgun and then the FJX Horus for your SMG as these are pretty confidently the best of both and you probably have them unlocked by now. Then bring in whatever items and power-ups you wanna bring outside of that. Now make sure that you actually add each of the five you want to get done as tracked because then you can watch the progress and make sure that you're doing it correctly. Also, if you're ever not sure how many more kills you need, you just go to your menu and it pulls everything up just fine. Let's run this round. So if we just go and get a quick 150 kills with this guy, because we'll go for the pistols here and just get this one done, then we don't have to worry about this gun anymore, which would be nice. After you equip the fire mod to your SMG, you're gonna wanna find an Outlast contract and preferably one in tier two as it will give you more Hellhounds and more Manglers. So go ahead, run in and start that contract. And we're gonna work on getting our pistols done first, those critical kills. Now, speaking of getting things unlocked, let me share this video sponsor. If you don't have the time to unlock everything and need assistance in your favorite games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto 5, and more, then our sponsor, Damn Mods, is the place for you. They offer all camo unlocks, zombie schematics, bot lobbies, and more. Damn Mods has a five-star rating with thousands of reviews. Use the link below in the description and be sure to use code 1AD for 5% off your order. Right here, we finish up our 150 critical kills with a recommended pistol. Then make sure to cancel that contract when it's above 90% because this will keep all of those zombies spawning from the contract, but it'll never actually complete the contract. Therefore, you can farm the rest of the kills very quick. Now the reality is this will get you through the SMG. This will get you a lot of the Hellhounds. This will get you a lot of those five rapid kills 20 times. You won't be able to complete everything here, at least not very efficiently because there aren't a ton of Hellhounds and only a handful of Manglers spawn. Now, as you get your fire damage and your other ones done, now you're gonna wanna look into actually switching your method to get those Mangler kills and to finish out those Hellhound kills. We only need four more rapid fire kills, a few more hellhound kills, and about seven more mangler kills. So there's a new technique we're gonna wanna use to get that one done. We're almost done, yo. We just gotta get manglers now. All right, so we have everything. All we need is four hellhounds and six more manglers. If you're looking for a lot of manglers in a small space, call in an exfil chopper in good old tier two. They tend to give you quite a few manglers. And then you'll also get the Hellhounds. For the Hellhounds, I recommend using the uh, the PND contract. But you'll get them here too. Oh no, oh, I didn't mean to get that. No, will that still count? Okay, good, it's still gonna count. Does that count? Yeah. Oh, I hear another one. Where you at, bruh? Yas. Oh, I hear another one, look at that. That's already three? In a very short period of time. And I hear another one. Oh my gosh, there's so many manglers. 
kind of an insane amount of manglers. Dude, I didn't ever... Look at this! It's like unlimited manglers. This is all from one tier two. One exfil. I hear, I hear another one, too. Sheesh! Let's throw another... Oh, my gosh. No, don't convert them. And there you go. We just completed the week three challenge in a single round of zombies with a ton of time to spare. I mean, a ton of time to spare. Everything is done. So that's how you do it. That's what I recommend doing. Took me like 30 minutes. If I didn't make all the mistakes I made, I probably could have done it in 15, honestly. Maybe less. So there's your week three zombies. Like and subscribe if this video helped you. And as always, for the newest Modern Warfare zombies and Warzone content, I'll see you live on YouTube. Get to work, stingers. This is why I think having a 15-round mag is so valuable. Yeah, go ahead. Rush me, zombies. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. There we go. Come on. Give me, give me a glowy face, will you? Glowy face. Where's your glowy face? Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Oh, dang, I thought it was a kill. I stopped shooting. Thought that indicator was mega. Something else. Yeah, that's solid, though. That's really solid gun. Not flamethrower good, but solid top tier gun. If you can get the critical hits, that's always the good thing. It's weird how the recoil kicks in afterwards. That's a weird glitch. Now, I am going to run out of ammo here. Where are my zombies at? I like his little dance. Dun, 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 dun. But he can't touch me. Yes? Here, follow me, buddy. We need to go refill our ammo. You coming, buddy? You coming? Come on, little buddy. Come on. Here, we can take the stairs. That way you can follow me. It'll feel more fair. Okay. You coming? Oh, he doesn't want to come down. You don't want to face the wrath? Oh, he has a different path he's got to take, huh? Oh, he's got to take the outside section here. You good, buddy? You good? That's so crazy. He literally can't catch me. This is what I'm saying. Like, tell me movement speed isn't valuable. Recoil caught up. 